Liver transplant is a very good option to salvage patients who are at the brink of dying because of liver disease. Unfortunately, the numbers of disease donors that we have in our country cannot cope with the demand. The beauty of living donor liver transplant is that we can save those patients that can possibly die while being on the waiting list. The living donors can be their family members, a friend. Sometimes there are donors that step forward saying, it doesn't matter to whom I give, but I'm willing to donate to save a life. There has to be no coercion. You are completely aware of the whole process you are going through. We usually recommend the donors to be more than 20 years old. Because the living donor surgery is not a small surgery, we go into a very detailed evaluation whether you are fit enough to be a donor. You need to have at least 30% or more of remnant liver for you. The second thing is the piece of liver is not going to be big enough for the recipient. The third thing is how healthy the liver is. The basic principle in living donor liver transplant is the safety of the donor. Trying to start a laparoscopic program for donor was always in my mind to make the donor procedure easier. The nature that I developed back in South Korea was a full laparoscopic living donor program both for pediatric and adult. This program requires three expertise fields altogether. You need to be an expert in minimal invasive laparoscopic approach and liver resection procedure and you need to be an expert in living donor liver transplant procedure. There are not many centers within the U.S. that can fuse all of these three technology all together. Unlike open surgery that requires a large incision to access the liver, the laparoscopic procedure is performed with surgical tools and a camera inserted through a few half-inch holes in the abdomen. We have one incision that is below the bikini line. Once the piece of the liver is dissected, the surgeon removes it through a four to five inch incision below the navel. The admission time is different. In laparoscopic, patients usually go back home on day four or day five. In open surgery, it's usually around day seven or day eight. The pain medications that the laparoscopic patients get is about half of what is required for open surgery. Open, it requires around two to three months for you to go back to work. But in laparoscopic, they usually can go back to work from one to two months. Those scars are hardly visible after operation. We have a very strong program. We have a most efficient, well-trained team. I'm so glad that we can give the goodness that the donors are trying to do for the recipient. At Cleveland Clinic, more than half of the donors are currently eligible for laparoscopic liver transplant and that is by far one of the best outcomes in the world. We hope this may encourage more individuals to participate in living donor liver transplantation.